The Cradle That Rocked By Itself, a story. There was a raging storm at sea. The wind howled and lashed around many a snug house in many a little town up and down the coast of Maine. Many a ship at sea was in trouble that night, and some were never heard from again. I hear a baby crying out there, said a woman, in one warm kitchen in one of those little towns. But the rest of the family said it was the wind howling, or seals maybe, for a frightened baby seal often cries like a baby. The woman said no. She knew in her heart it was a baby. How could it be? said the others. Nobody went out to look. The next morning they found a cradle washed ashore out of some ship, and they took it up to the house for it was a good cradle, and they used it for every baby that came along year after year. But there was one strange thing about it. Every time the wind blew a gale, the cradle would rock by itself. All by itself, in the warm room, with the wind roaring outside, the cradle would rock just as if someone were sitting by it, gently rocking a child. This happened so often that the family got used to it. No harm ever came of it, and the baby liked it. So they just got used to it and didn't mind. Then one time the woman's sister came to visit as they were setting the table for supper one night, the sister glanced into the next room. Who is that woman rocking the cradle? she said. Woman? That's no woman. The cradle rocks by itself. It is too a woman, said the sister. She has long black hair, and her face is white and sad, and she's sitting there rocking the cradle and bending over the baby. Nobody else could see her. But the mother grabbed up her baby, and the next day they took the cradle outdoors and chopped it up for kindling wood. And when the wood was burning in the fire, they could hear some baby crying, somewhere crying and crying for its cradle. But after that, they never heard it again. <laughs>